Well, joining me on the line is Adam Hall, who was due to be the captain of Hoyk Harlequins, but uh, the sad news is that Hoyk Harlequins have withdrawn from East League One. Um, Adam, that, that's a shock for a lot of people and uh, must be devastating for you and the club. Yeah, it's a, it's a big shock. We've we've worked hard over the last couple of months to really try and get a team on the pitch, but it proved a step too far. Now, obviously, this has been bubbling up, I suppose, for some time. You've seen, after COVID-19, a, a return uh, to the pitch from players, but uh, not enough players to get a team together. Yeah, um, yeah. a couple of months ago, we, we got back together again and, and got training started again and the alarm bell started to ring. And it, it just kind of showed that um, we were going to struggle to get a team this season. And of course, in the town itself, we've seen the demise of Hoik YM in, in recent years, and uh, there seems to be more players than can fit in f- for the clubs, and, and obviously in the youth section as well. We've seen an amalgamation. It's now Hoik Youth rather than Hoik PSA and Hoik Wanderers. How do you feel about rugby in the town at the moment? I wouldn't say it's a crisis point as such, but it is proving difficult to encourage boys to play rugby uh, again. I think the one semi junior team has meant that it has been harder to recruit players to the junior clubs. Even Super 6, for example, has probably had a, an effect on, on Hoik as a whole. So that has filtered right down to our junior clubs. So what happens in the immediate future? Uh, you've withdrawn from the league. You've obviously um, spoken to the Scottish Rugby Union. Uh, but what happens sort of now as far as Hoyt Carlequins is concerned? Well, in the immediate future for the players that we, we are actively encouraging the players that we've got to find another club and we're offering help. We've got contacts at various other clubs in the town to try and get these lads playing rugby because the last thing we want is to lose any more players to the game. Um, and for the club as a whole, the committee are staying together. They're going to have regular meetings, keep the club going, organise social events and hopefully run a couple of primary school tournaments over the season. So it's certainly devastating for everyone. And, and long term, as you say, it's a case of the, the committee um, getting together at various intervals and, and seeing if you can get uh, something running again for Hike Harlequins. Yeah, I think there's, there's certainly people in the town that are, that are wanting to try and get more players playing rugby. So we'll work with whoever's in those positions and try and get a team on the pitch again. And the irony of all this is that um, it was under five years ago where you actually won the East League title and you were obviously going for promotion. You you actually turned down promotion because you wanted to concentrate on East League. And of course, that step up to National League is very expensive. Um, it's not necessarily what everyone in the club wants. And I think when you got that promotion, it was pretty much all your players were just about coming to the end of their career. This was their swan song. Um, and that was a a fantastic moment for the club but really you haven't been able to replace them yeah it, it's been a, a tough old task and in, in the last five years we, we had a really strong side and you're right there was a few players there that were kind of holding the team together that were at the end of their careers and it was hard to replace players of that quality we have got a few young players started this season as well as seasons before but maybe not quite enough to replace the players that have been dropping off. Do you think this is a temporary um, loss of Hoy Carlequins or do you think it could be permanent? I'm forever the optimist, Stuart, so I'm, I'm really hoping that it's just temporary and that we can um, go again next season with the help of, of others in the town. Well, we certainly hope that that is the case and that we, we do see Hoyt Harlequins back on the fixture lists um, in the future. But uh, it's obviously a devastating time for you. The news has just broken and uh, we thank you for your time, Adam. No worries. Thanks, Stuart.